Steamy romances are one of the few things that captivate us as a society in the age of social media and reality TV. Whether it was Kanye West and Kim K, or even Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, drama-filled relationships that had their gossip aired out online are nothing new. However, across every generation, one couple who has seemed to become the new benchmark for toxicity is Blueface and Krishan Rock. The relationship of Blueface and Krishan has been a hilarious, drama-filled, rocky roller coaster to say the least with many regular people, including myself, being extremely entertained at the ridiculousness of nearly every viral moment that comes to fruition from these two. And of course, with the recent news that Krishan is pregnant, I figured why don't we take a look back at the craziest moments that we've seen from this relationship. I use that term loosely, by the way. So anyways, go grab some popcorn, sit back, and relax as we take a look at the toxic relationship of Blueface and Krishan Rock. While it may seem, due to how many viral for the wrong reasons moments these two have had, that Blueface and Krishan have been together for a lifetime, they actually only met in 2020. Blueface, after having some massive hip-hop hits such as Tatiana or Bleed It, failed to perform numbers-wise with his debut album called Find the Beat, resulting in him focusing on an OnlyFans account to continue making money. However, instead of using the platform for videos of him having playdates with Tatiana, Blueface instead ran it as a paid reality show known as the Blue Girls Club, in which the women on the show would compete for Blueface's love. Genius or corny, I'll let you decide that one, but that's exactly where Krishan comes in. She was one of the front runners for the competition, and in fact, fans of the show started gravitating towards Krishan due to her causing so much drama and therefore making the show somewhat entertaining. So much so that she actually ended up winning the show, although losing her tooth in the process, and officially signed to Blueface's LLC. Now, after the show finished up, Krishan and Blueface seemed to get into a full-on relationship off-camera, with turbulence showing up on-camera not too long after. On Valentine's Day 2022, Krishan was actually arrested in Oklahoma with charges of possession of a controlled substance, with intent to distribute, and receiving, possessing, and concealing a stolen vehicle. Right as the news broke, Blueface revealed on his Instagram that the vehicle in question was actually his G-Wagon. B stole my car and thought she was going to drive to Baltimore more 24 hours away, he stated on his IG story. Now, the funny thing is, is that Blueface didn't even know that Krishan stole the car initially, but after coming home and realizing that Krishan wrote I love blue on a wall with her own blood, and obviously considering that by this point she already had multiple tattoos of Blueface on her body, it didn't take long for him to figure out who had taken the G-Wagon. Apparently, at the time of the incident, Krishan was trying to go back to Baltimore to help her mom with something, and she revealed a no jumper that she was in a really bad place mentally when this happened. I used this time to really heal. I'm just healing from a lot of stuff, she said in an interview from jail. A lot of stuff I be telling y'all, but I don't be telling y'all everything, so you know how that go. It's crazy too, because her saying stuff like this might actually make you think that she's heading in a positive direction, but spoiler alert, that really couldn't be further from the truth. Only a few months later, she had a whole new ordeal occur when news broke that Krishan had struck both Blueface's mother and his sister. Sister. And this was confirmed by Blueface's mom posting a picture of her swollen face afterwards. And it would also be mentioned that Blueface's mother was never able to move past the incident, stating, All I know is my son will never bring that person around my family ever again in life, and that's all that matters. Carry on. Now, don't get me wrong. I know that for some relationships, it can be hard for people to get along with their in-laws, but going all Royal Rumble on your boyfriend's mom and sister might not be the greatest idea if you want to maintain at least a decent relationship with his family. However, Krishan's side of the story showed that she was simply responding to the actions of Blueface's mom did first, stating, Why talk smack knowing you threw glass jars at my face and called my mom a dope fiend and got in my face like I won't put you down, she said on IG. Nobody happy to put their hands on somebody mama, but I'm not a B, so be careful. The last statement even shows a little bit of remorse from Krishan, but regardless, what happened happened, and for everyone involved, the violence didn't just end there. That's right, because just a few months after that, Krishan decided to move up from the mid card being Blueface's mom and sister, and went straight to the main event when it publicly came out that she attacked Blueface himself. And this would be the first string in a bunch of instances of domestic abuse between the two, allegedly. In July 2022, Krishan was 
was seen attacking Blueface out in the open on a Hollywood sidewalk before his security had the chance to intervene and pin her down to the ground. And while, of course, for any regular person, the moment my girl decides to go Mayweather on me, we're through. Apparently, though, these two worked out their differences and moved on, but not for long, as just the very next month, Krishan was arrested for punching Blueface again. This is also where a lot of people started feeling bad for Blueface. It just seemed like we were witnessing a man getting abused online and he wasn't doing anything about it. He at one point even tried making a joke out of Krishan's punch power on IG Live saying that she hit me with a banger on <laughs> Now, we don't know what's happening behind the scenes and why Blueface is putting up with this type of toxicity. Does Krishan have some kind of dirt on him that he doesn't want people to know about? Or is it that Blueface sees how much his name has been in the headlines after these incidents that he thinks that this is a price worth paying to stay relevant? Questions we may never know the answers to, but speaking of answers, it wasn't long before Blueface decided to answer to the assaults by dishing out a few himself. Fast forward to September 2022, Blueface and Krishan's family were staying at the Four Seasons Hotel in Baltimore when fighting broke out again. This time, however, it was Blueface and Krishan's dad exchanging blows. Krishan's dad allegedly wanted to punish Blueface for supposedly putting his hands on his daughter and threw a punch at Blueface with Blueface not hesitating to respond. Once the fighting cleared up, it was reported that Blueface came out the winner, leaving Krishan's dad unconscious. Ouch, pops. I also think the wild thing here was that Krishan actually ended up siding with Blueface rather than her dad, stating, the same dad that got knocked out was the same guy that tied my mama up in the woods just to beat her because she screamed so loud in the house when he beat her in front of us. She proclaimed in a since deleted tweet to damage my whole family. That same dad I met when I was seven. Somebody was supposed to knock bro out a long time ago. And remember when I told you that Krishan's dad's reason for starting the fight was because he believed the blue face had hit her? Well, only a month later, Krishan went on IG live and suggested that she had been assaulted by none other than her boyfriend. Apparently, what I found regarding this was that Krishan was trying to jump out of a moving car and Blueface assaulted her for doing that allegedly. I don't know. It seems like a confusing situation and you can see the clip for you yourself. You punched me in my mouth. What are you talking about? Punch me in my eye. You the bitch. So what? If I want to get away from you, let me get away from you. Don't pull me away. Don't pull me closer so you can hit me in my mouth. You so dumb. You should have let me jump down. However, a day later, Krishan took her claims back and suggested that she was too drunk and Blueface was just trying to save her instead. I had a bad trip yesterday. It's a Casamigo. Trying to jump out of a fucking moving car on the highway. Blue trying to keep me from jumping out the car. I f that f like trying to get the f up out the car. He's trying to save me. And I'm just like, I just blacked out. So, as we reached the final quarter of 2022, people were fully invested into this Krishan Rock and Blueface story. So much so that the Zeus Network decided to give them their own reality TV show known as Crazy in Love. I think the title is pretty fitting. And personally, I haven't checked out the show yet, but from what I read, the show is centered on the toxicity that most people have now come to expect from the couple. However, just days before they dropped the trailer, Krishan tweeted, quote unquote, y'all can have him, Krishan Rock is single. Krishan, you are enough. And while of course, once again, we don't know the full story of, of what went down to their alleged breakup, we do know that shockingly, a fight broke out between the two when Krishan stated, I almost went to jail, yo, I swear to God, I broke everything in my hotel room in front of that man, the TV, the window, he had to run from that hotel to another. And months after this happened, it's believed that the reason for Krishan's reaction came from Blueface's sex tape with another woman leaking online. And honestly, this is definitely believable since any time Blueface mentioned another woman, even when he was joking on Kai Sinat's stream about dating a little person, Krishan would throw a fit and cry. But let's get into the current year, 2023. We're not even a full two months in, and yes, you guessed it, there are still some events to talk about. So first of all, Blueface and Krishan made a guest appearance on the No Jumper podcast, which resulted in Krishan getting dragged out of the set while she was kicking, screaming, and asking for Blueface to help her.
Don't know what the hell was going on there, but at this point, this type of behavior is expected. And then the biggest news we've gotten yet, Krishan Rock is apparently now pregnant. And yes, I didn't stutter. You heard me correctly. Krishan posted not one, but three positive pregnancy tests on Instagram alongside the caption, guess how many heartbeats. Here's the kicker though. Look at this tweet the blue faces sent saying, to answer y'all's questions, yes, me and Rock are officially done. It's strictly business. I tried it and clearly it wasn't giving before she announces she's pregnant with somebody else's child, not mine. Rock has had encounters with 10 different men in the last year. Until I see a DNA test, then it's not mine. And then he added, I know, I know y'all thought she was all about me, me too, LOL, but the facts are facts. Being my baby mama would be a blessing. She must be currently drinking while pregnant. That's a red flag. It's not a blue face baby. Kind of weird, but then after all that, the two ended up releasing two new songs together, one titled Lit and the other one being called Dear Rock, with them actually actually getting married in the music video of the second song? Essentially, this is just some kind of twisted soap opera being fully played in front of our eyes. And since then, Blueface's mom has said that Krishan is apparently not pregnant because she was able to deadlift over 300 pounds in a clip that went viral on Bradley Martin's channel. And who knows, she might not even be pregnant to begin with, but one thing's for sure, and that is that Blueface's name has never been in the news more than while he and Krishan have had their antics spiral out online. Not even when he first blew up with music. And while yes, I just went through what feels like an entire lifetime of incidents, we also have to consider the fact that what if all of this was planned? Whether Krishan is actually pregnant or not, I can't know for sure, most of us can't, but you're telling me that after so many viral incidents and moments, they wouldn't need a new thing to raise the stakes? I mean, think about it. After multiple assault allegations, crazy Instagram lives, wild appearances on other people's platforms, and even getting their families involved, what's the next crazy thing that could top all of that and get people talking even more. I'd say having a kid would be somewhere near the top of that list. But that's the major question here. Was all this fake and fabricated in order to elevate both of them and grow their revenue sources? Was it fake and fabricated for only one of them while the other one was kept in the dark about it? Or are we actually witnessing one of the most toxic relationships of all time unraveling in front of our eyes on social media? Only time will tell, I guess, and maybe we'll never figure out the answers to these questions. But I can almost say with certainty that the drama Drama isn't over and we'll be hearing Krishan's and Blueface's names in the headlines due to drama once again any day now. But let me know what you guys think about this entire relationship in the comments down below and if you enjoyed the video please give it a like and subscribe to not miss the next one. Thank you guys for watching.